Hello, and welcome to this Bomb Portal training series presentation where we are continuing to look at in depth the features and best practices of this application. In this video, we are looking at the Bomb Portal supply chain panel. Our objective in this presentation is to show the purposes, uses, and features of the supply chain panel. This panel provides some exceptional information after either uploading a bomb or creating a new one from a project, the supply chain panel, first off, provides vital information for regarding the overall board pricing, identifying the bomb coverage by supplier, and then lastly, identifying the component availability from those suppliers. On this panel, we have the settings and controls that we have discussed in another video. It also has the indicators showing fatal errors, warnings, and no issues. Lastly, it also has the column display preferences for setting up and changing the columns that you wish to show. Before getting into the details of this panel, we want to review our bomb settings, making sure that they are correctly set up. The first consideration is your production quantity. This value will change the overall price of your PCB because of taking advantage of the price breaks for each component. The next setting is your due date. This will identify those components that have long lead times past the due date of your project. And lastly, you want to consider your favorite suppliers that you wish to work with. In the top section of this panel, it first shows the order price for your entire build based on the quantity that you have chosen in your bomb settings. This is a good check to determine if the product you wish to build is within your profit margin. Many times, once you run these initial costs, you often will find that your project needs to be modified or could be scrubbed entirely because it is out of the price range. The next area is the bomb coverage. You can apply filters to look specifically at a vendor by simply clicking, this will then show the filter here. This will allow you to drill down into the details of each of the vendors that you wish to work with. This also will show those components that are unprocured. By clicking on these, you can then see real-time data that is available and see the stock availability. If need to, you can then use the advanced parametric search to find a replacement. The next area is your availability. This will show the availability of the components based on the suppliers that you have chosen. This will also then show any components that may be out of stock or unavailable. You can reset the filters simply by hitting reset. This then shows the entire bomb you also have order list presets that allow you to sort your bomb based on lowest price or by a specific vendor. I believe after using the bomb portal, you will find that the supply chain panel will provide some excellent information that will allow you to not just make better choices, but rather great choices in your PCB design. This sort of information will empower your decision-making process. Let's look at a couple examples. Here in this line item, we can see that this component has insufficient stock. This is the primary choice for this component. The second component has no issues. The third component in this line item is not REACH compliant. To solve this issue, we would simply double click. As we can see, we have zero stock for this component. We can now then make another choice such as the arrow electronic component. That issue has now been solved. Another example is, can be found here. We see that there is no suppliers found for this component. We can double click here and we can see that no SPNs are available to select a supplier. So an option here could be that we change our bomb settings by increasing the number of vendors that you work with, you then open up more options for you on your part selections. We can now select another component. That problem has now been solved. The important point is when using your supply chain panel, it's very important to understand the information that it's providing for you and how you can then solve the issues.